So we've got basically two centers uh, in Hyderabad. One is a research center, which is focused more on the agriculture side. Uh, we do a lot of uh, plant breeding, etc. there, which is more around, you know, creating new hybrids and stuff. The center that I run is a business process center, uh, which we call Corteva Global Shared Services Center. And we do almost all of the business processes uh, for our parent company. And it's a global center. We work 24 by 6 and almost, uh, you know, we, we touch all the continents of the world. Most of the processes are global in nature. The larger ones are finance and accounting, procurement, customer service, HR shared services. We have a big presence in the regulatory area, being a chemicals company. There are a lot of regulations already in Europe and some coming up because of ESG, even in the US. So uh, we kind of uh, touch every aspect of the business and our effort is to move anything that is transactional, anything which is not really directly uh, uh, you know, impacting the customer, move that so that the marketing and sales teams and the business teams can focus more on value creation and adding uh, value to the customer. The way we structured the center is that processes which were amenable to be done at a global level, we moved all of them to the center in Hyderabad. And only things which are very specific to the region because of a regulatory requirement or there is some language dependency, only those are left in the regional you know, hubs, or regional spokes rather. So uh, in terms of servicing the company, uh, like I said, global processes get centered in Hyderabad. We try and uh, you know, focus on things which are creating value for the company, business outcome focused, more business outcome focused, not really. Uh, you know, most of the centers which get formed start looking at things which are very internal to themselves, like you know, productivity, etc. We do look at those aspects, but we also look at things which impact the business directly. So when we set our goals, they are set in consultation with the business leaders, uh, with the operations teams, so that everyone is focused on uh, you know, meeting the customer requirement in an efficient manner and creating value for the larger organization. So talent actually for a GCC in India and especially Hyderabad and Bangalore is now the scarcest and the most uh, important, you know, factor because every new GCC that comes in, almost 50% of the talent is taken from existing GSC, uh, GCCs. So we have actually launched a, a, a talent strategy program in 2023 focusing on all aspects, which is right from attracting talent to developing talent, to engaging talent and to retaining talent. So there are various programs which look at, you know, each of these uh, in terms of how can we get the best people on board? How can we retain them? How can we train them better? And uh, there are teams which are cross-functional because HR alone will not be able to handle all of this. Talent is a responsibility of the function. So we, we have cross-functional teams which are working on various initiatives and surprisingly, pleasantly surprisingly, our attrition rates are in single digits, uh, which is like perhaps half of what the industry average would be. So the culture of the organization, I think, plays a very great uh, part in, especially in Corteva, in terms of retaining the talent. And having said that, even one good resource you lose is a loss to the company. But we are trying to do whatever we can, good, very good work-life balance practices, very flexible working environment and the work from home initiatives recently even which government is now uh, promoting I think have, have also helped. Yeah, so uh, basically three or four things, maybe three things I like to talk about. First of all is the overall operational efficiency, uh, you know, which the, comp which the center brings in. So, you know, when you can do things at, uh, at the center, like I said, at a global level, you, you end up streamlining operations, you end up standardizing operations that itself adds to a lot of productivity improvement for the company. So it drives cost improvements. You know, businesses are able to also focus on things which are more uh, relevant for them. Uh, number two is having a center, and especially in today's environment, you know, where compliance is becoming increasingly important. If you have things which are handled centrally, you know, you can have that much more of a compliance uh, kind of, uh, you know, a discipline where people are following controls in a decentralized environment, it's very difficult to uh, kind of, you know, handle all of that. So that is another uh, area which I think having a center helps with. And finally, uh, you know, we have a very customer centric uh, organization design and operating delivery model. So the, the teams are working very closely with the customers, making sure that, uh, you know, what is happening on the ground 
can be translated into what impact it has on the business processes that we deliver, periodic stakeholder engagements. That helps us remain very relevant to what is happening in the market and the whole dynamics around it. So those are a few you know, uh, aspects where we try and you know, beyond just cost, help you know, deliver more value to the company.